what's up guys today is going to be another smart probe review this one's going to be on the Revco tap wireless temperature and pressure gauges as you can see here they are uh, Zach from HVAC shop talk was kind enough to send these down so I can do the usual put them through their paces and see how they compare to the other options out there on the market for you guys Try to zoom in just a little bit so you can see some of the information on here. As you can see in the image, the transducers and the clamps both have displays on them, so that's pretty cool. Um, pretty standard stuff so far. You can see down here that it does store uh, reports, and you can also send them via email or store them, obviously, on your smart device. Nice hard plastic case they come in. little carry handle. Definitely... Uh, one of the nicer cases. So we'll go ahead and open this set up and see what we get inside. So this is what you're gonna see when you open the case. Gonna get a little brochure here that's gonna give you some information. Looks like a lot of it is the specs and things like that. Try to get you a decent view of those. See the temperature clamp is a K-type thermocouple. And then down at the bottom it's going to give you your app requirements for iOS or Android. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Here's some more information for you. Hopefully you can see all that. And let's see what else we have a quick start guide So that's just basically gonna run you through step by step how to get these bad boys up and running Nice easy to read and down here Have your instruction manual there are several different ones for different languages and as you can see here's the pressure transducers and the clamps they sort of snap into this molded plastic, which is nice. Keeps them relatively secure. They feel very well built. Nice and sturdy. Got a little bit of weight to them. Looks like they have the Teflon O-rings inside. I'm not sure if those are replaceable. Probably just like the Testos, which they've worked great for me for the last year or two. So no problems with that. You can see our little indicators. They have almost like a little O-ring that slides into here. Red, obviously, and blue. And looks like you got an online and an offline mode. A little switch at the top there. And let's take a look at our clamps. They feel pretty nice. Feel well built, nice strong spring. They seem to open pretty wide, at least, I'd say that's over an inch and a half. So anything residential, inch and an eighth, you're definitely going to be able to fit on there, no problem. Be curious to see the, the smaller pipes, but it looks like even like a 5 16th liquid line or maybe even a quarter inch liquid line should be able to fit in there. It may slide around a little bit. Obviously you have your built-in display which is very nice. And this is a thermocouple versus a thermistor. But it has a nice surface area right there for you to get your readings. But we'll go ahead and turn them on and see what things look like. All right, so we'll just hold in the power button here, and then it'll boot right up. Nice bright screen, very easy to read. I believe if you tap the power button, oh, you have to hold it in for one second, and it dims the screen. Although it's still lit, it's still illuminated, it just dims it. And then same thing, hold the button and it gets really bright. So that would come in handy on those really sunny days. But definitely like the display. 
It's got a couple different features on here. It's got the little hamburger menu up here. You can see it says tap two. That's just identifying this as the second transducer and the second clamp. And essentially how this works is the clamp will communicate with the pressure transducer and then the transducer will communicate to your app. So you're just using two, essentially two Bluetooth signals. So it's a similar thing to the tethered versions of some of the smart probes. But if you hold in the menu button, you can see where that turns black. Hold that in for one second and then you can toggle through your different options changing Fahrenheit, Celsius, PSI, bar, all that good stuff. If you want to go to the little drop down hamburger menu, you just hold the set button for one second and that'll bring you into this menu. For instance, if you needed to zero your pressure transducers before you hook them up, that's where you would do that. And when you want to back out of this mode, simply hold the menu button for one second and you're back out. So definitely very cool see what these clamps look like and we'll just hold in this power button and that's got a blue light on there you can see the cool thing about these is they're relatively fast acting so if I just stick my finger in there you can see it settles out on temperatures relatively quick within a within a couple seconds so definitely very cool Obviously you can change your units of measurement and again what you do is when you first get these you sync the clamp to the transducer that you want and then once the transducer links to the app it will automatically know which clamp is which. But we'll go ahead now and we will fire up the app and see what that looks like. 